I decided I wanted to rank all of the dairy-free cream cheese options, at least all of the ones that I could find. I went to Publix, Sprouts, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, they only had the one, and Target. They didn't have anything. Even though on their website they said that they had Philadelphia's plant-based cream cheese in stock, I had to scroll down to where it said it didn't have it in stock in the location that it said that it had it and that it didn't have any of it, and so I didn't end up getting it. I did have the Philadelphia cream cheese in my fridge, but it was expired. I already taste tested that one, so I know kind of what it tastes like. I decided to do this video after that taste test because I got a lot of flack in the comments section for saying that it was a pretty good cream cheese. So I wanted to rank them all on the look, smell, spread, taste, and texture. So let's get Monica in here, let's start tasting, let's find out once and for all, what is the best dairy-free cream cheese? First up, Violife. The Violife is made with filtered water, coconut oil, potato starch, salt, Lucona Delto Lactone, olive extract, and vitamin B12. Violife is 70 calories, seven grams of fat, and two carbs. And let's spread, ooh. Yeah, it's got a nice texture. Yeah, a nice texture. It's spreadable. I'm having no problem spreading it. Is it cream cheese type of spread or is it, it looks a little like waxy? Butter. Yeah, not cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, cheers. We don't mm. smell. There's no smell. It kind of tastes like butter to me. Yeah. And they're not a smell, which is fine. It doesn't need to smell. This is texture. like a butter. It's like a butter texture. Yeah, tastes like butter, texture like butter. It's good. It's It'd be good. a good butter. A butter. But not cream cheese. <laughs> not cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Next up, Mayoko's, made with organic cashew milk, organic coconut cream, sea salt, and cultures. It is probably the cleanest one out of all of these. Mayoko's is 90 calories, eight grams of fat, and five carbs. That does not look like cream cheese. Mm -mm. Did it used to? I don't know. Hmm, it doesn't really smell like cream cheese. No, and the spread is very, like it's almost like hummus. Yeah, it smells like a sesame, and it does look and, and feel like hummus. Very hummus-like. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yes. Cheers. Hmm. So I'm just gonna, normally I like Miyoko stuff a lot, but this just tastes like hummus went bad, like sour hummus. There's a little bit of a sweetness, a weird sweetness to it. Mm. It's got a graininess that I don't like love. So where would you rank this compared to the Violife? I mean, I like Violife better. Me too, Violife above Miyoko. Mm -hmm. I mean, Violife was at least like good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe this could be even more like a dip, but it's not even good. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I don't really love it. Kite Hill. The Kite Hill is made with almond milk, salt, enzymes, xanthan gum, guar gum, mushroom extract, lactic acid, citric acid, and cultures. Kite Hill is 70 calories, six grams of fat, and two carbs. Oh, this smells more like cream cheese. Yeah, it does have a nice cream cheese mm -hmm. smell. Ooh, it also does it's, spread more like cream cheese. Yeah, it smells like cream cheese. It looks and feels like cream cheese. Yeah, much nicer spread. I love the, the spread of it. Mm. It tastes like a plain cream cheese. Oh, really? See, I feel like it just tastes like thickened tofu. I no, that. I don't like that at all. Let me try it again. And that's made with almonds. It's just really plain. I wouldn't say it really even tastes like cream cheese. It's like the consistency of cream cheese. It feels like I just put cream cheese in my mouth, but it doesn't really taste like cream cheese. Oh. But everything else, like the spread, the feel, the look, and the smell. But yeah, it just tastes like plain. And like, there's a little bit of a- There is a graininess to it. There's a little bit of an aftertaste yeah. to it that I can't put my finger on. I know I said like tofu kind of taste, but I don't it's know really, if it for me. that's not the tofu. It's like a, I, I just, I don't like this at all. Yeah, it's got a weird aftertaste. Yeah. Very, I don't know. So this is so far the worst. <laughs> So far, the okay. worst. Okay. Well, at least it's only gonna go up from here. But before that, let me tell you about today's sponsor. I've used BetterHelp, today's sponsor, for anxiety and stress for two years now, and it has made an incredible difference in my quality of life. BetterHelp connects you to a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. Starting therapy can be hard. The right therapist for you may not be in your area, and some people, like me, find the face-to-face -face interaction of therapy uncomfortable. With BetterHelp, you can have your therapy sessions as a phone call, video chat, or even via messaging if you prefer. It's whatever's the most comfortable for you. BetterHelp can match you to one of over 30,000 therapists in their network, and over 4 million people have used BetterHelp to start living a healthier, happier life. If the therapist you're first matched with doesn't feel like the right fit, which is very common in therapy, you can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost without stressing about insurance, who's in your network, or anything like that. 
To get started, you fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you'll get matched with your therapist, in most cases, within 48 hours or less. Visit betterhelp.com slash saucestash. You'll be able to schedule your therapy sessions at a time that's convenient for you. If you think you might benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp. Click the link in the description below or visit betterhelp.com slash saucestash. Clicking that link helps support this channel and gets you 10% off your first month at BetterHelp, so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. BetterHelp, thanks for sponsoring today's video and supporting me and my mental health. So up right now is the Borsin cheese, which is 90 calories, eight grams of fat, and three carbs. It's made out of filtered water, coconut oil, pressed canola oil, modified potato starch, vegan cane sugar, tons of things, lots of things. And this isn't even the cream cheese, but I heard that it came out and I wanted to try it, so we're throwing it into this mix. So we're just comparing how good this is and not really how good of a cream cheese this is. Just how sense? good it is in general. Yeah, just is this good? Is this a good cheese? spread. It has a nice look to it. It does look good. It doesn't look like a cream cheese, and no. I can already tell right away there's like a grain in it. Yeah. It smells pretty mm -hmm. good. Oh, I haven't smelled it yet. Yeah, I gave it a nice... Ooh, it's like thick, but it actually has like a cream cheese kind of... It kind of smells like a spinach artichoke dip. Oh, yeah, you're right. That is what <laughs> it smells like. It, it doesn't spread the best. It kind of breaks yeah. up. Yeah, it's a little um, chalky. Okay. Borsine or borsin. It's a good flavor. I really like it. It's got, it doesn't have a grainy taste. No. It does have a cream cheese consistency. There is a little slight cream cheese aftertaste. There is. I wouldn't say it's it's really like hitting the mark on cream cheese yet. But. It's delicious though. Like I wanna like dip in this all the time and Yeah, eat I really like this. Mm -hmm. Good job, Borzim. I'm actually mm -hmm. gonna rank it under the Violife. I mean, I might rank it above the Violife because the Violife- Oh, really? Yeah, because the Violife was like a good butter and it was like plain. It didn't really remind me of cream cheese. And this has a little bit more cream cheese and it's a better flavor. So I kind of like it better. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> agree because it was close for me. Yeah. So here's the rank so far. Okay, mm -hmm. let's move on. Next up is the Tofuti. Now, when I did the Philadelphia cream cheese video on Instagram and said that it was the best vegan cream cheese I've tried, people lost their mind and said, no, it's Tofuti. Um, so Tofuti is 90 calories, eight grams of fat, and three carbs. It's made out of water, palm oil, maltodextrin, non-GMO soy protein tofu, non-GMO lactic acid, sugar, locust bean, guar, and xanthan gums salt. That looks like cream cheese to me. It doesn't really smell like cream cheese, so that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, does it smell it. like wax, maybe? It does. Oh, man. Oh, now that you said that, all I can smell is Play-Doh. Oh, Play-Doh. Yeah, I was like, it smells like something. It smells like Play-Doh. Mm -hmm. Okay, but spreadability. I mean, it very spreads cream like a cheese. cream cheese. It very looks like much a cream cheese. This is the most cream cheese spread we one can. so far. Yeah. All right, okay. there we Cheers. go. Cheers. Mm. Mm. I think this could work as a cream cheese substitute, especially if you add like tomatoes or onions and capers with it or something. Yeah. Got like the consistency and the texture. There's a funky taste to it yeah. that I just don't like, and the mouthfeel. Very oily mouthfeel. I do, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I do, I like, I feel the same way. Like, it's still not hitting the mark on cream cheese yeah. yet. Like, I'm no. still not, like, wowed by just trying to find a way that it fits in, but, so, but I'm not 100% on it. I'm going to say, I like, I personally like the Violife better. I'm there, I'm there with you. I like this ranking. Okay, that's mm -hmm. where we're at right now. Next up is Daya. Now, I haven't tried this one yet. I think this is the very, the newest one. Yeah, extra spreadable. Daya is 60 calories. It is the lowest calorie one. Five grams of fat, three carbs. It's made out of filtered water, coconut oil, tapioca flour, coconut cream, natural flavors, salt, pea protein, cane sugar, xanthan gum, enzymes, lactic acid, guar gum, and turmeric. Hmm, it uses a lot of different things. It uses a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, right off the bat, the look does not look like cream cheese <laughs> at all. It almost looks like it was sweating a little bit. It has a cream cheese resemblance smell, but there is another, like a weird smell it has. Yeah, it. let's see. Oh, spreadability. I mean, that that's a nice, you can go in there too. Yeah, it looks like cream cheese from the spread. It also has a little bit of that butter look. Yeah, oh yeah, that is true. Cheers. Look, when I first bit into it, I was like, oh. And then I was like, oh. No. I don't know what this taste is that I'm tasting. I don't know what the taste is either. Fish. Well, one, it's more like butter consistency than cream yeah. cheese. And the taste is weird. Taste is very weird. Not right at all. Yeah, there's like a chemically taste to it. And maybe it's a chemically smell too. Oh, hmm. no. This is, so for me, it's the worst one. Okay, put it in I mean, words. it has a chemically. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, are you okay with it? I'm okay with it. It is bad. 
yeah. I mean, bad. Really, really Stop. bad. Right, oh my God, Daya, I am so sorry. <laughs> okay, up next is Oatly. Oatly is 70 calories, six grams of fat, three grams of carbs. It's made with oat milk, palm oil, potato starch, potato protein, a little bit of salt, pectin, natural flavors, tricalcium citrate, and dextrose. Ooh, that looks hmm. weird as hell. That's bubbly. Yeah, super unique. It smells like almonds. Maybe it smells like oats. I don't know, actually. Yeah. It almost has like an almond milk smell. Well, that spreads just like cream cheese. Mm-hmm. Very much yeah, like that's a cream very cheese nice. spread. This is the closest, I think, in the in the spread. It just has like an oh, oat. It does, yeah. An oh, sweet oat milk smell. Sweet oat milk smell. Very, okay. very good. Cheers. Cheers. It's not like cream cheese. No, not at all. And it does taste like it has a weird sweet, like they sweetened it. Yeah. And they shouldn't have, unless it's naturally sweet. It's like not some bad. of these are like have a really bad aftertaste and it's like, oh. Yeah. This one is just like Kind of like the Vio Life, where I was like, it's plain, tastes like butter. Like, Agree with all of it. The texture is really nice. Mm -hmm. Very cream cheese-like texture. I have an idea where I'm going to put it, where mm -hmm. I want it. Where do you think? I think it could go um, maybe right here. Yeah. Because like at least like it has more of a cream cheese feel than Vio Life, even though Vio Life still was pretty good. Yeah. It just was more like butter. Mm -hmm. I know people are going to really be upset about the tofuti, <laughs> but it just had like the wrong taste. It was a... Mm, I didn't... Yeah, yeah, I had a hard time with the taste. And I know this isn't even a cream cheese spread, but it's the best <laughs> replica of cream cheese, even though that's not even what they were going for. Like, that's the sad thing. Uh -huh. Nature's fine. This one I'm really excited about. It's 80 calories, seven grams of fat, two carbs. It is made out of dairy-free phi, which is like a mushroom mycelium, uh, coconut oil, cane sugar, contains less than 2% of mushroom extract, salt, lactic acid, war gum cultures. Looks good. It doesn't that was look a like nice mushrooms. Look. I thought yeah. it was gonna look like a mushroom. It has a nice look. Oh. Oh, it smells, it like, smells cream like cream cheese. It does, yeah. So by far, this one is the number one so smell. So far. Yeah. The spread is really nice. Mm -hmm. Very cream cheese-like spread. Yeah. It's dense, but not like too dense. Mm. There's a weird aftertaste that takes like a long time. Mm. It's a mushroom. It like tastes like it has a mushroom. I love mushrooms, but oh yeah. Mm -hmm. But the mushroom taste comes way after. There's like a, it's like impermeating <laughs> my mouth. It's very chemically. Um, I don't love it. It's different. The original bite also has like a weird, like yeah. there's something you can tell, like something different. Mm. Yeah, it's chemically, you're right. Like I just got it. I know that taste and it's like hanging out mm -hmm. too. Ooh, man, I need some water. Anyway, mm. it's weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't like that. I don't even want to go any farther with that. <laughs> I just like. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's down there with this one. I was so excited. I'm gonna put it on. I think that. I think that's man. Ah, what a bummer. Okay. Well, we've got one more. We can only hope. People love this one. Trader Joe's. It is 90 calories, nine grams of fat, and four grams of carbs. It is made with water, coconut oil, modified potato starch, chickpea protein, sugar, salt, natural flavor, sodium citrate, deactivated yeast, lactic acid, citric acid, yeast extract, guar gum, xanthan gum, and nissen. I don't know even know what nissen is. Looks good. Yeah, it's got that sweat thing going on. Yeah, the on sweat thing it. happening. Seems, ooh, it's real mm -hmm. thick, way thicker. It looks like cream cheese. Yeah, definitely, it would be like a heavy cream cheese. It smells like cream cheese. I feel like this one smells the most. Oh like yeah, cream smell. Cheese. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is the new winner on smell. It doesn't spread that great. No, it's it's breaking up. But cheers. cheers. Very nice. Mm-hmm. It's really close. I think this works for cream cheese. I don't think it's 100% there. None of them have been 100% there. It does have kind of that butter feel mm -hmm. in like the, the texture. It also has more of a cream cheese texture and more of a cream cheese flavor. It's more cream cheese than butter. It just does have a yeah. little bit of that like waxy butter feel, yep. if that makes sense. There's a little bit of a waxiness. Yeah, I would say this one hits the mark the most. Yeah, this is the most. Which and actually, I think this one might be better than the Philadelphia. It doesn't have any weird aftertaste. Yeah, the texture is really nice. Mm-hmm. Mm. This one actually wins. I can't believe we saved the best for last. I didn't think that. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. I really didn't. That's good. I could use this one. That is really good. Mm-hmm. This is the winner. Mm-hmm. Here it is. <laughs> From the tofuti mm -hmm. down, you start developing yeah, weird worse and worse aftertastes. Mm -hmm. Like the tofuti definitely has a taste mm -hmm. that's not like yeah. cream cheese. Well, here we go. All right, well, this was fun. Yeah, this is what's for dinner. All right. No, I'm <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. Cream cheese and yeah. bagel chips. So I know a lot of you aren't gonna agree, but leave a comment in the description below what you think your favorite cream cheese is, and if I missed any. I know there's tons of small brands on the market that I couldn't find, but 
Let me know, I'm really curious about your thoughts. And if you agree with us, 